Prince, you're almost there. You're almost there. Mother of the living word, trusting in the voice you heard. You're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost where the angels see redemption's plan unfolding. All hope is in the sun you'll bear. You're almost there. A lonely road of You're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. Almost there. You're almost where the waiting ends, delivering the life within. The answered prayer, Emmanuel. Welcome to our uh, Christmas Eve candlelight service here at Cove Spring Church. And for the next moment, we are going to just stand in awe of this great mystery of reality that God became one of us in Jesus Christ. And so let's pray. Father God, we thank you that your word is, is very clear in letting us know that whenever the good news of your Son is proclaimed, whether that be through word or through song like we're going to hear tonight, that you are here in the person of your Holy Spirit. And so I thank you, God, that as we listen, something more than just hearing music is going to take place. But if our hearts are open, we are going to encounter you. And that is what we pray for. In the name of Jesus Christ, the incarnated Lord, amen. Amen. If you would stand uh, for our hymn, Hark the Herald Angels Sing.
Amen. You may be seated. Well, this time, uh, the Fulton family is coming for our Advent reading and candle lighting. Well, good evening. Merry Christmas to everyone here this evening, and I hope uh, everyone has a blessed holidays here. So, um, as we go into Advent here, we learned this morning that the fourth candle was about peace. Tonight, we're going to light the fifth candle here in a little bit. But before we do, the word Advent means coming. Advent is a season of expectation and preparation as we prepare to celebrate the coming of Christ in, in his incarnation and also look ahead to his final Advent at the end of time when he delivers the kingdom of God the to God the Father after destroying every rule and authority and power. By lighting a candle each week of Advent, we remember God's great promises to Israel and to the world. We recognize our need to, for God's mercy and grace, and, and, as, and we prepare to rejoice in the birth of Jesus, our Savior and King, who will come again. The Advent season, we'll, we have lit candles to remember that Jesus fulfills the stories of Israel God and the whole world, and he is greater than the kingdoms here on earth. All this points us to the beautiful truth we celebrate tomorrow, that Jesus is born king of heaven and earth. Not even heaven could contain his joy as the Son of God stepped into his own creation, taking on human flesh in order to establish God's kingdom on earth and save us from our sin. Our scriptures from Luke chapter 2, verse 8 through 15, and it says, And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flock at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be the sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. We light the final candle of Advent to celebrate the birth of God's Son and our Savior and King, who alone can give joy and lasting peace in a dark world so desperately in need of his grace. Let us pray. Thank you, you have not left us this world in darkness. You have sent our internal son, your internal son, as the light of the world. Open your eyes to see Jesus more clearly, to trust him more fully, to serve him more joyfully, and find all of your sacrificial or satisfaction in him. Amen.
It is time for our cantata.
On a night more than 2,000 years ago, in the little town of Bethlehem, a child was born to a poor young Jewish couple who had taken refuge in a place where animals were kept. He was wrapped in clothes and spent his first hour sleeping in a manger. We would have never known his story except that this baby was royalty sent from heaven because God knew the world needed to be rescued and he would be our perfect savior king. was a humble virgin, living a quiet life in an overlooked town. How could she have imagined that she would give birth to the long-awaited Messiah? But the angel had said to her, The Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end.
time of year, both our greetings and our goodbyes are often the words, Merry Christmas. When we say them, we're recognizing that the birth of Jesus changed everything. In reality, the first Merry Christmas the world ever heard came from an angel who appeared to shepherds out on the hills near Bethlehem and said, Fear not, to you has been born a Savior, and he is Christ the Lord. Yeah. 
The night he was born, Jesus came into a world that longed for him without even realizing it. Those who knew the ancient prophecies of his coming prayed to see them fulfilled, but the Messiah they imagined was so much less than all he would be, and what they thought he came to do didn't even come close to what Emmanuel, God with us, would truly mean. Jesus came that night to a weary world in need. He was the answer then, and he still is today. Every desperate cry that rises to heaven is in some way for a Savior to atone for our sin and redeem our brokenness, and for a just and righteous King to set right all that is wrong.
Today, if you've never opened your heart to the truth of who Jesus was and is, be assured that he was born so that you could know the peace and hope of a relationship with God himself. is going to lead us in silent night and we are going to light our candles. 
believe the ushers are going to take them from the Advent for us. If you would stand, please. blessing from God's word as you go. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. Amen. And Merry Christmas. Jesus. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
so much fun. <laughs>